Hey everyone, AMD just dropped the new driver update, version 24.10.1. This update brings support for the new game, Unknown 9 Awakening. Along with that, it also comes with some bug fixes and performance improvements across the board. So stay tuned for performance results, and let's see what has changed in AFMF2 performance. You can follow my video tutorial on how to install the new driver without crashing Legion Space. I've included a link in the description. Also, if you get a black screen in Windows Safe Mode, just use an external keyboard and the arrow keys to select Safe Mode, then hit Enter. These are my Legion Space settings. As usual, I set it to Performance, TDP at 30 watts, and OS Power Mode to Performance. The resolution is 800p at 140Hz, and I will also be testing at 1200p. In AMD Adrenaline, I've kept the same settings as the previous driver, 24.9.1, since this is the first day with the new driver. I didn't want to change any settings yet. I'm keeping everything the same to see what changes in performance. Don't forget to turn on the in-game overlay in the Preferences section. Then, go to Legion Space and map one of the rear buttons to the Alt plus R Adrenaline shortcut. After that, in-game, just press that button and Adrenaline will pop up showing AFMF2 active status. This is the new game Unknown 9 Awakening. I set the resolution to 800p with medium settings and high textures, plus AFMF2 frame generation. I also used integer scaling and AMD Radeon sharpening at 80% to prevent the game from looking blurry and to make it look sharp at 800p. In this new game with the new driver, I'm noticing smoother, more fluid character movement and less micro stuttering compared to the previous driver, 24.9.1. I've had this game since yesterday and already tested it with previous driver. This new driver seems to enhance the smoothness in AFMF 2 frame generation. I'll test more games to confirm. Next is Until Dawn Remake. I set the resolution to 800p with low settings and medium textures, using FSR 3.1 at quality. Since the built-in frame generation doesn't work well, I used AFMF2 frame generation instead. I also turned on integer scaling and set AMD Radeon image sharpening to 80%. As you may already know, this is one of the struggling PC games and has received mixed reviews for its poor performance. With these settings, the game runs a little better, and character movement is smoother. However, there are still micro stutters in some areas. This happens even when the frame generation is off. I hope the performance will improve with the new patches. Next is Black Myth Wukong. I set the resolution to 800p with low settings and high textures, using FSR on with super resolution at 80%. I also enabled AFMF2 and integer scaling. If you've noticed, I previously tested this game with FSR off and XESS turned on. However, now, with the new driver, turning on FSR gives better results. I've also observed significant improvements with this game using AFMF2 frame generation. It has less micro stuttering and character movements feel more fluid. Overall, the experience is great.
Next is metaphor, refantasio. I intentionally set the resolution to 1200p with high settings to make the game run at a base FPS of 30 to 35 to see how AFMF2 performs with a low base frame rate. The results are surprising. Even at a low base frame rate of 30 to 35 FPS, the game still performs well with AFMF2 frame generation. Character movement and actions are smooth, without any slow motion or choppy gameplay. This is a significant improvement over the previous driver, and the frame generation runs well at the base FPS of 30 or 35. However, this is just the first day with this new driver. As I mentioned earlier, I will test more games to confirm the real improvements of this new driver. Lastly, I would really appreciate your feedback in the comments section. Do you think I should continue with this style of video, providing explanations for each game? Or should I revert to my previous style without the voiceover? Your input is very important to me, so please let me know what you prefer. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Don't have much help left.